The human body is a complex and intricate machine. As you read the words of this video, your brain is taking written letters and transforming them into sounds. Your heart is pumping blood to the rest of your body, your immune system is defending you from bacteria and germs, and your stomach is digesting the sandwich you ate for lunch. Let's take a deeper look at some of the impressive parts of the human machine. 1. Babies have more bones than adults. While adult bodies have 206 bones, babies are born with around 300. Now some of these bones are not the typical hard and strong bones you're probably thinking of. Many of a baby's bones are made of cartilage, a tough and flexible connective tissue. Before birth, this cartilage plays an important role as it lends the baby the flexibility it needs to curl up within the small and tight space of the mother's womb. After birth, as the baby grows and develops, this cartilage undergoes a process called ossification that transforms the connective tissue into a harder bone. In addition, some bones will fuse together as the baby grows. 2. Estimates place the number of cells in the human body around 30 trillion cells. So far, scientists have discovered 200 different types of cells. Examples of cell types include brain cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, skeletal muscle cells, cardiac muscle cells, and etc. A stem cell is a particularly interesting type of cell. Unlike other body cells, stem cells are not originally given a specific role. Rather, they have the potential to become one of many different types of cells. Because stem cells have the ability to regenerate, restore, and repair cells, scientists hope they can be used to treat diseases. Your brain cannot feel pain. Why is this? Within skin, muscles, joints, and some organs are specialized fibers called nociceptors. When the body is hurt, these fibers are responsible for sending pain signals to the brain. Once the brain interprets these signals, you feel pain. The brain itself, however, does not contain any nociceptors. So where do your headaches occur? While headaches feel like an attack of your brain, they actually occur in the layers of the tissue between your brain and your skull. 4. Within your stomach is a digestive fluid known as gastric acid. This liquid is responsible for breaking down the food you eat. The pH scale, which measures how basic or acidic a fluid is, ranges from 0 to 14. Acids are fluids that score below a 7 on the pH scale, while bases are fluids that score above a 7. Compounds with a score at 7 are neutral. On the pH scale, stomach acid scores around a 1 or a 2, which means it is very acidic. At its strong, strongest, stomach acid can be nearly as strong as battery acid. 5. Heartburn is a burning sensation you feel in your chest after you eat. Heartburn occurs when stomach acid travels back up into the esophagus, the tube located between your mouth and your stomach. Certain foods can trigger heartburn in some individuals. Foods that may trigger this include raw onions, tomatoes, and our favorite foods like cheeseburgers and fries. For some people, some people don't like cheeseburgers and fries. Number six, burping, is a normal and is a result of swallowing air as we eat. Burping is the body's way of getting rid of excess air. When you drink soda, you may notice you burp a lot. This is because soda contains a gas. This gas does not usually enter your stomach because it is extra air that the body wants to get rid of. It stays in your esophagus until you burp it out. 7. Without a single flap of cartilage, it would be very difficult to eat. This flap of cartilage is called the epiglottis. The epiglottis is located between the tongue and the front of the larynx. The epiglottis present, prevents you from choking because it seals off the larynx when you swallow, keeping food from falling down into your windpipe and then into your lungs. 8. Humans may be the greatest endurance runners on earth. While animals like cheetahs, horses are faster than humans in the short run, humans have many adaptations that give us an edge over these animals in the long run. For instance, we have millions of sweat glands all over our body that act as very efficient cooling systems. 
while dogs have to rely on moving air in and out of their mouths by panting to cool down. Our ability to sweat allows us to cool down and run simultaneously. Our tendons, the connective tissue between bones, serve as another adaptation that makes us great distance runners. These tendons act like springs, making it easy for our body to prepare itself forward. Humans also have the ability to feel the runner's height, a sense of euphoria or well-being people experience when certain hormones are released. Number 9. The heart serves to pump and circulate blood and oxygen around an organism's body. The human heart has four chambers and several valves. The upper two chambers are called the atria, while the bottom two chambers are called the ventricles. The right side of the heart receives oxygen-poor blood and sends it to the lungs for oxygen. The left side of the heart receives oxygenated blood and sends it to the rest of the body. 10. Your body has more than 600 muscles. There are three types of muscles, skeletal, cardiac, and smooth. Your skeletal muscles connect to your bones and help your body parts move. Cardiac muscles are found in your heart. As you know, you do not have to think about making your heart beat. It does so automatically. This is because cardiac muscle is an involuntary muscle. Smooth muscles are also involuntary muscles because you do not have to consciously control them. They are found in the walls of hollow organs like the stomach, intestines, and bladder. Smooth muscles are also called this because unlike cardiac and skeletal muscles, smooth muscles lack striations. I hope you enjoyed learning about the amazing human machine. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.